tummy tuck with liposuction of the planks and the flap. I will remove all this extra skin and fat and I will make a new belly button which is going to be in the same spot but the belly button will be vertical. Um, I try to put my incision as low as I can, usually about 6 centimeters above the top of the vagina because that hides the incision and the bikini line and I can take off more skin. Previously she had a c-section, I'm going to cut out that scar. So first we'll start with the liposuction. I will liposuction this area, the sides, the flanks, and try to go as far back as I can to get this. But I don't want to be too aggressive with liposuction because when combined with the tummy tuck, you can have problems healing. Get up to uh, 550 or the highest it goes. Yeah, I actually was like, um, I think I have to put this on the following. We get it. So we finished with the liposuction. I took as much fat as I could from the upper abdomen and from the flanks and a little bit from the back and now we're going to take away the skin and make a new body button. So this is the part we did not liposuction. You can see how much fat there is. See how thick this amount of fat is? And then this is the muscle. So skin, fat, muscle. So even though this, this much of fat, the muscle is still bulging right now a little bit. That's why sometimes when you do liposuction, a lot of times, the patient is not flat afterwards because this muscle is still bulging, although this fat is removed. Because the, if somebody is pregnant, the kid pushes from the inside and stretches this out. This is the belly button from the inside. So now I have to make a decision where to cut this flat. I think I'm going here.
So when you pose the incision, you have to take the upper flap and you have to medialize it. Because what happens if you close it like this, directly across, you have a dog here. So that, because there's extra skin here and there's extra skin here, so you have to cheat it to the, to the middle. And so there is no dog here, so it lines up nicely. Time to make the belly button. I have to place it in the correct spot, I have to place it in the midline, I have to make it the right size and the right shape. So the, normally the belly button is 15 to 17 centimeters from the top of the vagina. At the midline here and it's oval. So that's what I'm going to create. So I actually feel the belly button here on the inside and then I see my finger up here. And I will I think make it this size. 